Hello, what's up YouTube? Brony Sweet and Actual and this tutorial I want to show you how I did the color grading for this very image in Capture and so those that always ask about the software I use for color grading I use Capture One and you can see right now I'm in my Capture One 21 interface and this is it so let me show you a quick before and after for this image so this was image before and this is what I managed to get so I want to show you how you're just going to get to this look in Capture One so I'm just going to come and reset and those that always ask me what to get Capture One just Google Capture One and you go to the website and you can get a license or you can download the free version but usually the free version doesn't have these many details and if I told you watching this video and you have Capture One and maybe you're missing out on these adjustments and you want to customize your tool by the way mine is you can right click above here and when you right click just come to customize tool and can add whichever tool you're missing up here and if I told you you're missing any adjustment on this right hand side you can simply right click and you come to add tool and you add whichever tool you're missing so right now what I tend to do in capture one I first of all come to the high dynamic range and I take the highlights down to recover the information within the highlights of the image and I also take the whites all the way down to get back the information and reduce the amount of whites within uh, the photo so after doing this the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to add a slight bit of blacks into the image to add a slight bit of contrast within the photo then I'm going to come to my contrast and just add in contrast within the image just like that so I'm just going to add the contrast of around just going to add around 10 and now come and open up my shadows slightly just like that so after doing that the next thing so basically I start with correcting the lighting issues within the image before I color grade so I'm going to come to my levels and simply drag in my blacks just like that to add a rich contrast within the image I'm going to take up my whites so that is it for the basic adjustments so when I'm done doing that like in Photoshop Capture also has layers and if I told you wondering why I have my adjustment on the right hand side just come to window come to workspace and you come to migration and you have them on the right hand side the way I have them here because I feel comfortable working with adjustments on the right hand side of the interface in Capture One so like I was saying in Capture One also have layers like we do in Photoshop so usually I'm going to come down here to the layer panel so you come to the layers and you create a new field adjustment layer so you simply right click here and you come to new field adjustment layer so that we can apply the color grading on a separate layer. So I'm just going to name that to color grade. So that I can be uniform in this case. So after doing that, the next thing I'm going to go or to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down here to where it says color editor. So under color editor, we have basic, advanced, and skin tone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all come to my skin, to my basic adjustments. And I play around with these colors so that I can have a more better looking background, for example, in the greens of the image. So what I'm going to do, I'm first of all going to come to my yellows and I'm going to take the hue all the way down just like that. And I'm also going to take my saturation. I'm just going to desaturate the yellows just like that. So around 33, you are good to go. And after that, I'm going to come and target the greens this time around. And I'm going to hue the greens so, as, uh, so that I can get a more yellow background so that it can blend in and my subject can even stand out even more. And I'm going to come to the saturation and simply desaturate the greens just like that. After around, I think right here we are good to go. 43 is good. Then the next thing I'm going to handle is handling the skin tone of a model. So if at all I'm to zoom in this image, let me just zoom in by using Ctrl or Command Plus on the keyboard and zoom in. You can see that we have different skin tone variations. You can see we have some magentas right here. We have a little bit of oranges. We have even yellows. So I just want to create a uniform skin color for this model. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slightly zoom in and come to where it says skin tone. And when you select skin tone, we have the option that says pick skin color correction so when you click on that eyedropper tool you have to look for an area that is going to be more of a reference point for the rest of the photo so for this case i'm going to zoom in and i look at the image so i'm just going to come and i simply click on a reference point for 
the skin tone of a model so just look for that point and I'm just going to select this point right here so when you select this point you can see it creates for you the range within the area or the range in which that skin color is falling you can see right here in order to see that quite well just scroll down here and you come to view selected color range so when you click or you when you activate that view selected color range option you can see uh, where that is falling so what you are going to do you can see that the view selected color range option is showing us that the range is between the reds oranges and yellows so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to because i don't want to over desaturate or change the color of the dress i'm going to come to the reds and just slightly take it out of the reds just a tiny bit just like that so what i'm going to do next i'm going to come to the uniformity slider and under uniformity that is where i'm going to start unifying or creating a uniform skin color for uh, this model so under uniformity i'm going to come to the hues and i'm going to take the hues up just like that i'm going to take it even up don't mind about how the image is standing out to look right now so right there we are good to go at around 69 and i'm also going to take up my saturation slider even more just like that at, after about 49 we are good to go and after doing that the next thing is going to be coming right here to my hues and under hues i'm going to take my slider or my hue slider towards uh the reds just like that so i can get back the reds within the image just like that you can see taking it towards the left hand side is going to be adding reds within the image and taking it towards the right hand side it is going to be adding green so that is going to be a little bit unnatural just going to take it towards the reds just by a tiny bit i think this looks okay and i'm going to come to the saturation and also desaturate this just like that just by a tiny bit not too much so this looks okay and the skin tone is now uniform if i told them to zoom in you can see that we have now a color that is uniform so after doing this the next thing is going to be coming down here and we're going to come to the color balance tool and under color balance what I want, I want to do I'm just going to come to my highlights and click in the middle and just add a little bit of green so when you take it all the way up it is going to add so much green within the image and taking it towards the center it is going to reduce on the intensity of the greens within the image so I just want it to be slight then I'm going to come to my shadows and I'm going to add a little bit of science or a little bit of blues within my shadow so when you take it all the way up you can see what it does to the image so i just want to reduce on the intensity i'm just going to take it towards the center and reduce on the intensity and this looks great so you can see we have lost out on the amount of reds within the dress so the next thing is going to be coming back to our basic adjustments and we come under the reds and i'm just going to or we are just going to take the saturation slider of the reds just look at her dress right now just take the saturation slider all the way up to try and recover the reds within her dress just like that and you can see the image is now beautiful and popping but uh, some areas within the skin are overly bright so i'm just going to come back to the basic adjustments and i'm going to turn down the color grade with the color grade layer selected turn down the highlights just by a tiny bit and also turn down the whites just by a tiny bit so this is what I basically did when I was color grading this image. So let's see the before and after. This is the before and after, before, after. And when you feel like you don't want the color grading to affect some areas of the image, you can just come and get the eraser tool with the color grade layer selected. For example, you don't want it to affect the lips. You can come and click and paint on the lips to eliminate the color grading from the lip area. So basically this is what or this is how I color grade the image in Capture One. And after color grading, you can come to Image and you come to Edit With and you come to Photoshop 2020 to edit the image in Photoshop and do the retouching. So this is it for this video. And if at all you love this, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have watched and you have learned something from this tutorial, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing trails. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.